For 7,000 years, Ireland had been inhabited by a pagan people. The arrival of the first missionary saints, filled with the Holy Spirit and a driving desire to spread the word of God, had a tremendous impact. Men like Patrick the Briton, Saint Patrick, and later small groups of monks who sought out the isolation of wild places where they could be closer to God. Although the Roman Empire never extended to our shores, it's true to say that Ireland yielded not to Roman arms, but to the influence of Roman letters and religion. Christianity was to appeal immediately to the fertile Celtic mind, and the Irish church quickly took on a highly individual form of its own, which was to last for many centuries. A typical early Christian monastic settlement is this one, on the lonely, remote, and inaccessible island of Inishmurray off the coast of Sligo. It was founded in the early 6th century by one Saint Molasha. Saint Molasha or Lashran as he was also called. The monastery was built within the walls of what was probably an earlier Stone Age fort or cashel. The church, with its stone roof, served the recent inhabitants of Inishmurray as a Sunday church and is called to this day St. Molasha's House. Turi Vranel, which was also the schoolhouse for the island, is a corbelled house or clohan. The walls and flights of steps are very similar to the Iron Age fortress of Greenon of Alioch in County Donegal. And perhaps these passages afforded the monks some form of protection in bad weather or in times of attack. Inside the medieval Church of the Fire, or Chachnatenya, is a stone hearth in which glowed a perpetual fire. It was said that if the fire were to go out, the people would no longer remain on the island. They had all left by the late 1940s.